Significant news in Scotland today and professional footballers will be banned from heading the ball the day before or after a game. It's one of a series of measures aimed at reducing the risk of players developing degenerative brain diseases. Here are some of those guidelines that come into effect immediately across Scottish men's and women's professional football. Heading practice must be restricted to one session a week. A session is defined as a training exercise that involves repeated heading. The ban on heading the day before or after a game covers common drills such as crossing for players to score with their head and set-piece practice. Research has shown that players have measurable memory loss up to two days after repeated heading sessions. In addition, clubs are being asked to plan and monitor heading activity to reduce the overall volume of heading players undertake. The SFA consulted with 50 men's and women's clubs and players and managers' unions about the changes. More than 70% of managers and coaches support heading guidelines in adult football, while two-thirds of players believe heading should be restricted. Headway, the Brain Injury Association, has welcomed the news and hopes other associations will follow suit. Their interim chief executive, Luke Griggs, said football has traditionally been fearful of change, so this willingness to evolve protocols and adapt to emerging research is a welcome development. If this initiative is to be a success, the new rules have to be accompanied by an educational campaign that seeks to win hearts and minds. We have to get buy-in at all levels of the game so that players, coaches and parents all understand and support the sound logic behind this sensible move. We look forward to learning more about how the impact of this proactive initiative will be monitored as part of the sport's efforts to safeguard the short and long-term brain health of players.